Hiya. In this video, we're going to go over the fourth problem in the practice exam one. Um, and so let's kind of see what this problem is. So question four is asking, suppose that every month has 30 days. Um, apparently, Aram does not know how to spell has. It should be has 30 days. Um, so let's keep track of this information. So let's highlight uh, 30 days is kind of the pertinent information here. What's the probability that after seven people, uh, so here we're actually already going straight to the question. So what's the probability that after seven people, two of them have the same birthday, as in like the day of the month? Um, and I guess I should have specified here that I meant the day of the month, um, but it should be relatively clear. I'll double, ch I'm, I'll, I'll double check the exams anyway, uh, but that should be fairly um, clear. Um, so if you notice, this is basically this birthday problem from before. Um, obviously, the question in the exam is going to be slightly different. Um, so I'll break this down exactly how I would have normally. Um, and you can kind of see um, how to do this. So, okay. So we start off with there's no one. Um, and then there's a first person. Um, and if there's a first person, um, what are the chances that they're going to have a different birthday than everyone else? 100%, right? There's a 30 out of 30 chance. Um, we'll do this in green. 30 out of 30 chance that they're um, a unique birthday. Here, I'll zoom in a little. Um, okay, so this is person one. What happens with person two? So with person two, we have two options, right? Either they have the same birthday as person one or they don't. So if they have the same birthday as person one, that's a bad thing, right? We don't want this because we want it to happen after seven people, right? Um, so, so here we have one out of 30 uh, because there's only been one birthday. Um, and the good part is the 29 out of 30. Um, and this is person number two. So I'll put a number two to show this is person two. Um, and at this point, this is when we would kind of stop. So this is P2. Um, P2 here, so we'll say PI um, is probability that after ith person to have same birthday. Birthday. So we asked two people, so after the second one, we saw that they have the same birthday, so that's what P2 would stand for. P1 is zero, right? So here's P1. P1 is up, up here, and it's zero. There's zero chance, zero out of 30, chance that they would have um, the same birthday as someone before, because there's no one before. All right, so from two, we have again two options. This top one is gonna be P3. Um, and so if we're looking at, okay, what's the chances that the third person had a birthday from before? Well, here we have two out of 30, right? Cause we've seen two people come through. Um, and the second one would be 28 out of 30, right? Every other date is available for him to choose, for them to choose, um, if they're a different person. So at this point, it should be easy to kind of see that we just keep doing the same thing. Uh, this is four. Uh, this should be on top because it's a tree diagram. Uh, here's P5. Here's P6. Uh, and then here is 7. 6 and 7, P7. Now, at this point, you can go through and fill in all the numbers if you want. Uh, 4 out of 30 to be a little meticulous. If you have the time, you definitely should do this. Uh, 27 out of 30, because it's good to double check that you're doing the equations and everything right. 24 out of 30. Okay. So basically what's the probability that after seven people, two of them have the same birthday? Well, for us, it doesn't really matter if it was after the first person, the second one, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh, it can be any of these numbers. So really what we want is P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus P4, plus P5, plus P6, plus P7. Alternatively, remember that 
in um, in the birthday problem, what we saw is we can look at just this number to see what everything else is, right? Because this technically keeps going, right? We can have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, whatever, people, up until 30. Um, and so this is actually just equal to 1 minus um, this thingy here. So I guess I'll write, I don't want to write 7 because 7 is a bad thing. Uh, I guess I'll do n7 for not 7, n7. So how do we get to uh, n7? This is just following the chain in our tree diagram. So we get 30 out of 30 times 29 out of 30 times 28 out of 30 times 27 out of 30 times 26 out of 30 times 25 out of 30 times 24 out of 30, right? And then that's it, we have n7. So at this point, you should plug into a calculator uh, because I don't expect you to be able to do this by hand. Um, this one obviously cancels, so that's one less thing you have to put in. That might make things a little easier. Um, and then if you plug in, you should get roughly 0 0.46916. Uh, um, and so you get roughly a 0 0.53084. So about 53.084% uh, chance that after seven people, two of them have the same birthday, like number. Uh, so again, this or this is okay for E-class. These are both okay. Um, and the rest of the solution you should put on CrowdMark so we can give partial credit where partial credit is due. Um, if you, Again, so most of the points um, are coming from your solution. So if you just have the answer, that's one point. So most of the answers, most of the points come from your solution. Um, Okay, that's it for this. Um, good luck on exam one. I believe in y'all. Um, you got this. Uh, notice how all four videos together took only 30 minutes. That's with me explaining it and going through things slowly. Um, so one hour for the exam should be more than enough. Um, so yeah, I believe in y'all. You got this. Um, yeah, good luck. <laughs>